Mercury has a high affinity for sulfur groups, inactivating numerous enzymatic reactions, amino acids and sulfur-containing antioxidants. It causes dysfunction of the lining of blood vessels, high cholesterol, mitochondrial dysfunction, and it impairs our immune systems, increasing our susceptibility to yeast infections. A recent review on mercury and heart disease concluded that, quote, the clinical consequences of an elevated body burden of mercury include hypertension, coronary heart disease, heart attacks, cardiac arrhythmias, reduced heart rate variability, increased carotid artery intima thickness and carotid artery obstruction, strokes, generalized atherosclerosis and kidney failure. The World Health Organization has stated that our greatest exposure to mercury comes from mercury-containing dental amalgams. Based on the least conservative scenarios, it was recently estimated that over 67 million Americans exceed the mercury dose associated with the reference exposure level established by the US Environmental Protection Agency, and over 122 million Americans would exceed the dose associated with the level established by the California Environmental Protection Agency. Knowing what we now know, I can see absolutely no reason why this recognized cellular poison that leaks out of our amalgam fillings constantly and accumulates in our tissues should continue to be used in dentistry or vaccines.